welcome back everyone all right so today we're doing a review on big brother canada season 12 episode 22 yes we're almost there we're almost the juror numbers are green one by one as each player has been kicked out so this week we see tola win before we get into that like seriously people am i the only one feeling this way because anthony is just coasting is just chilling like big ball big puppy things and everybody is so okay with that i am not okay because dudes what are you guys doing like are you guys sleeping because there are bigger targets in the house all right there's spicy there's anthony and you guys don't feel there's something wrong you are going over a you know what i would try and survive i will survive yay yay like i'm so upset but anyways let's get back into the review all right so remember tola wins head of house for the week and he was to put up two nominees he put up bailey and avery shocker benutris <laughs> everybody's playing small games but i can't really blame them because at the end of the day the numbers are few and who can you actually put up exactly people that know your alliance are the easiest people to put up and he has been going for avery for a long time before even one head of house so for him his own is he believes that you know what if you're going for someone tell them directly don't go around beating the bush just come straight and say you know what you're going up and which he did tell avery and bailey all right so bailey she's his pawn but his targets for the week is avery so let's pray it stays the same anyways so obviously everybody is wondering what's going on and all of that and during his speech his nomination speech he went ham on bailey and bailey is in her feelings she's not liking him saying oh he embarrassed her in front of everybody like excuse me embarrassed let the guy say what he wants to say his own hoh and he decides what he wants to say you can't force him to say things that are pleasing to you for him he thought it was a joke but you are taking this thing too far and if i was told her my dear as you're just making noise i will just focus on you and leave avery like seriously why are you all up in your feelings he said what he said move on is a game like seriously is a game move on already moved on already by any which is so they're both up and next thing we have to they have to play the veto all right so the veto nomination the veto pick actually has been done so you have avery bailey todd anthony lexus and spicy playing tola can't play obviously because he's head of house so yeah so they play the game is um counting stars and biggie puts temptations out there for them to try and you know get tempted and lose count and all of that but most people didn't beat spicy beaded for talking to a loved one big papi won five thousand exactly because like you know what it's best to win start winning things in the game because you never can tell but it's like ah this first of the winnings my mind i'm like what's wrong with you <laughs> oh my god i know i'm still upset with anthony I don't know why but my mind is not having it but anyway Trace, so we see that happening we see discussion being made okay no 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 let's take that back todd wins um veto all right when he wins veto there's talk around oh for um tola tola wants norms to say the same but bailey now is talking ape shit. sorry excuse my language like why would you put your game up for someone else saying oh she doesn't want them to put up um spicy that touch you just leave the um nominations the same are we in the same show are we seeing the same thing or is it just me because i'm outside looking in because bailey i wouldn't have expected that from you like why would you put your game on the line because anthony told you oh you're safe I've already spoken to Tola. Tola said, Dude, you should know by now. Don't take people's word for face value. Like, don't. Uh, but anyway, ways, conversations go back and forth. Um, Spice is trying to plant seeds of doubt so they can put up Todd and take down Avery. Like, dude, you're speaking to the main manipulator. You're just learning. You're a learner bee. Like, 
doctor he saw through your facade like what's wrong what's wrong what, hey, go i'm always stammering what the heck is wrong with you what did you think you were doing did you think it was going to make sense uh but anyway chase anthony says through her lies talks to tola and lets tola know what is being said in the house and everything and he tries to still push for spice to go up but tola is not having his sex because she has been good to him so there's no need to put her up and he sticks to his gun so anthony's theatrics and antics did not work this time hallelujah some people are having sense in the game so anyway trace so yeah so the nomin um the veto um being used or is it <laughs> but anyway they have the veto um get together and todd decides to not use the power of veto and keep norms the same and everybody's wondering why but anyway she's vicky is the happiest the most happiest in the house that she's not going up and twats lexus's and anthony's um thoughts or thought process or plans it's not working so now we have to wait to see who's going home is it avery or is it lexus sorry is it avery or is it bailey because at this point in time we do not know what to expect but i do i think bailey's leaving what no matter what they are saying i think bailey's leaving based on how she's behaving in the house i for one think so but if you want to know more stick with me as we find out tomorrow who stays or who leaves all right and don't forget we're building a community one block at a time so don't forget to share like subscribe comment i keep saying this i know i cannot be the only one feeling a type of way because uh anthony is costing too much i know i'm hammering on this thing but please i know i cannot be the only one having this thought or emotion so please you guys drop your comments and let's see if we're feeling the same way all right bye